Greetings, this is Darvain and welcome back to Let's Play Mordor Depths of Dejanal. Now, we are once again partying with Ouroboros and his hired goons. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a fun game. If you can get hold of it, it's worth doing. Bearing in mind that it doesn't run on modern systems. I mean, it uses Windows architecture, but because of the changes in Windows, this game does not run. It's a shame. It would be nice to see a modern remake of this. So, I mean, at the moment, what I'm having to do is emulate this under Windows 3.1 mainly because 3.1 is a Windows, I think Windows 3.0 but 3.1 was slightly more stable and it's small enough that you can do it with the sound drivers because it's largely just layered over MS-DOS as opposed to being an integral op operating system itself, which Windows would slowly become. So therefore, this is essentially still a DOS box running Windows 3.1, which is then running Mordor. There is apparently a sequel to this, Mordor 2, but I have never found it, let alone played it. And it's basically supposed to be like this, but better in every, pretty much every single way. With outdoor areas and new stuff. You know but still essentially old school exploration. So I think the saddest thing is the original developers make it so software it kind of became defunct several years back. The current rights holder, and there is a rights holder, so this isn't abandonware. Although some of the versions that I picked up through the time I picked up as abandonware. Basically, yeah, is a is a fan of the game, but rather than a coder, so they're just kind of sitting on it. They still sell copies of the original, as according to the of the rights, but doesn't have the ability to, or the inclination even, to update this for modern systems, which I think is a bit sad. Still, they were good. They were uh, they were nice enough to uh, when I because I bought a copy of this from them because, like I said, I I got this as abandonware a few times and the shame the money can't go to the original developer to encourage them that maybe they should, you know. Consider looking at a game like this as a remake, but yeah,
are we doing? Let's have a look. Let's go down to our times again. What we got? The times of light. The time of lies is a cursed item that just hasn't been flagged properly. Is it charisma and little learning? Problem is charisma doesn't really do much. Then neither does learning either. Not that we can do anything anyway, but yeah. Yeah, the current White's Hope up with is, um, I think it's Declan's Domain, is the website. It's picked up by, uh, there's a fan, there's a fan, there's a, there's a fan site. And they were nice enough that, uh, I bought this, but couldn't get it to run on Windows 10. I couldn't even get it to install because it was all packed. So I came up with a plan of emulating this under Windows 3.1. The problem is, I couldn't get the game to unpack because the installer wasn't Windows 3.1, it's a Windows 95 installer. So I contact the, uh, I've contacted them. I don't know his real name, I have it down somewhere, I just completely forgot it. But yeah, and uh, he was um, nice enough to send me a, a copy of the files that had been unpacked. So basically it's a pre-install, pre you know, type thing. Literally a straight copy of all the files that have been that are installed from the uh, the extraction the extraction file. I can't remember what they're called. The auto extractor. You know the old uh, wizards. As they used to be called back in the day. Installation wizards. I mean we're too used to them now that to call them wizards, but back then that they were something kind of youthful and but kind of mysterious at the same time see. 209 so yeah but then considering I've got an original box copy with um, from him that, uh, you know, original box copy, I mean I have opened it, I have read the manual, I have had fun doing all that, but, and it, it's, it's on CD, you know. That tells you how far, how much we're back, how far back we're going, you know. When back when things were on CDs because they were so old. Cool. Okay. I need for you in this context. So 
so really I need to get some constitution to be able to cast you, that's your attack spell. A minor heal, we just need intelligence and wisdom at 13 each. And that's your basic healing spell. Yeah. So, I can get a time of learning or a time of leadership. Um, the time of endurance isn't that much better, uh, that much more. It is nine, and we need, and we're at five, but it does mean more stats. So we'll have a look. Um, I'll probably just go for the cheapest, and we'll go with. Go with intelligence. The aim basically is we're going to try and max out what we can. Most of these, I mean, we've had to find all of these. These don't just randomly appear. So we'll have a time of learning. Which isn't bad. I mean, you never know. We may eventually be able to make another guild I mean I say I say eventually most of them again yeah the thing holding us back is going to be our, constitu uh, our constitution which but it isn't like the well it's sort of like the only thing that's holding us back but I don't want to stop just bulking up On, const on constitution, you know? And you can... Basically, when it comes to raising stats, you can raise your characteristics to a total of five over the racial maximum. But like old school D&D, it can be quite easy to be drained, especially if you're not protected.
So yeah, basically this is what we'll be doing. I mean, I don't know how interesting you find it. But I find it kind of therapeutic. And it's easy to make content for because I'm not worrying too much about editing it, editing it to... Uh... So I don't know how long I'll run this for when I'll stop. This will just be one of those series that I just kind of keep an eye on and will run and run and run. And yeah, so you kind of come up with stories and ideas of with the sort of party you're going with. And in this case, we've got the sort of goal is, okay, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, see if we can get Oro back up to a deep, being a pretty decent character considering he's a healer so I mean I mean that's how he's built that his magic is around it's essentially a neutral cleric in terms of powers. And then we'll start beefing up his warrior party because that'll be when. Now I could go, you know what? I think it's just time that we leave everybody. 
and go back to how I'm running my other parties. But to be honest, all that's going to do is mean that Goliath, Skull Crusher, and uh, Gotrek are slowly going to get to the point that they are completely and utterly outpacing. Must put one girdle of strength, so you ain't making that level. I don't know if I've got a girdle of strength here. Yeah, we've got one. We can do it. It's going to be quite a lot of my, quite a lot of gold though for a level up. Me. Yeah. We'll see. Level twelve, huh? Got most of was a gird or yeah. The only one you haven't got is a gird or okay. You're having a shortage of leather girdles. Don't ask me why. Goliath, unfortunately, and that a so high level. Most of the gear they should be using, you know, can't be found on level one anymore. Which is quite amusing.
And so really the question is, for, do they really need the money? Um, I'm not entirely sure they do, to be honest. And we're being able to afford like one tone every two to three trips, maybe a bit more, by pulling all the together and and not basically making sure we can't sell cursed items. So. Yeah. Twenty four. So yeah, what we're probably going to do, I'll probably max out Hey, spell knowledge Not that I can use any of them, but yeah Because we're still quite low level We've just, I think we've just made it to level 6 in Spell powers, we've got Banish Demon Harm and Draining Touch. Oh, we resist fire, resist draining, and risk gold. So yeah. A whole bunch of levels, basically. A whole bunch of spells. Ocean of Intelligence, okay. I'll just sell you. He kind of made out a lot of money on that one, actually. So Ouroboros has now got a, well, he gained three, not a lot, but he gained three hit points, which is better than none. 
So I'm going to leave it there. This has been Darvain doing a Let's Play Mordor Depths of Danger. Now, if you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Please consider sponsoring me on Patreon. And until next time, goodbye.